former Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan was injured after he was shot at at a rally in Pakistan's Wazirabad. 13 others, including uh, Pakistan Senator Faisal Javed Khan, have been injured and one person lost their life. This took place during a protest march against the ruling Shahbaz Sharif government. Imran Khan has been asking for early polls after he was ousted by opposition parties, then opposition parties, including Shahbaz Sharif, and he faced a no-confidence motion in April this year. So since then, he's been launching this massive protest and asking for early polls. Now, Imran Khan is currently hospitalized in Lahore. His party, Pakistan Tehreek e Insaf, has made a startling allegation. They claim that the attack was carried out on the behest of the ruling government. They have, in fact, named others, including Shahbaz Sharif. اب سے تھوڑی دیر پہلے انہوں نے مجھے اور میاں اسلام اقبال کو بلایا اور انہوں نے کہا کہ میرے بحاف پر یہ سٹیٹمنٹ جاری کرو کیونکہ وہ کہہ رہے ہیں کہ میرے پاس پہلے سے بھی کچھ انفرمیشن آ رہی تھی جس کا ہمیں پہلے پتہ نہیں تھا لیکن انہوں نے یہ کہا اور انہوں نے کہا ہے کہ تین لوگوں کے اوپر میرا یقین ہے کہ جنہوں نے یہ سب کچھ کروایا ہے اور وہ تین لوگ جو ہیں وہ شباز شریف ہیں اور رانا سنا اللہ ہیں اور وہ میجر جنرل فیصل یہ انہوں نے کہا کہ میرے پاس یہ انفرمیشن پہلے آ رہی تھی جس کی بنیاد کے اوپر میں یہ کہہ رہا ہوں کہ یہ جو کات لانا Alright, so Shan Sareen, senior fellow ORF with me on the show. I'm speaking with Tariq Fateh, columnist Abdul Samad Yaqub of the PTI with me on the show and Fakhar Yusuf Zai, senior journalist also joining us today. Welcome to all of you. Thank you so much for your time. So Shan, let me begin with, uh, you know, your take on what exactly has happened and what this means for Imran Khan politically because they've wasted no time in pointing fingers at the ruling government. What has happened is uh, that an incident has taken place. Now, whether this was an assassination attempt, whether this was part of a larger conspiracy, uh, whether this was a deranged individual, whether this was a false flag operation uh, to, <clears throat> you know, to get an honorable exit out of the long march to nowhere, uh, it's difficult to say. Uh, and I don't think the truth will ever come out. But uh, what, uh, what, has, uh, what is likely to happen is that politically, uh, it, has, it has worked uh, exceedingly well in Imran Khan's favor. Uh, it has given him the halo of somebody who was being targeted by the evil forces of the military establishment and the uh, government. Uh, and he is going to milk this incident for everything it is worth. Uh, and I think the real import of this incident is going to play out in the domain of politics. And perhaps uh, given the kind of mood that exists in Pakistan right now, uh, going to add to the uh, scenes and uh, the climate of anarchy, uh, which, is, uh, which is pervading through Pakistan. So I think this is something which is going to rebound on Pakistan, uh, perhaps also on the military establishment and the government. Now, Imran is certainly going to mount a lot of pressure on both the military as well as the government, not just to press for an early election, but also to get uh, some kind of a veto or some kind of a say in on who the next army chief is going to be. And uh, if he can't do that, then he's got a reason to uh, take to the streets and agitate the streets uh, to a point you know, where, you know, it becomes difficult to resist his pressure. So, 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 so Shant, I, I in think the, in the context of... Ahead. In the context of, just follow up there quickly for Sushant, in the context of Pakistani politics, isn't it unusual, I would go as far as to say unheard of, that a leader who the Pakistani military doesn't seem to like is now able to gain traction and hold his own, you're going as far as to say, will be trying to put pressure. Yeah, yeah, it's unprecedented what is happening in Pakistan. I don't remember in yeah. living something like this happen. But let me uh, let me give you a very quickly. Let me give you a reason why this is happening. Look, uh, uh, you know, if the army uh, and uh, army leadership is very cut up with Imran Khan, and if they really wanted to take action against Imran Khan, they could have done it in the last six months when he's been hurling invective and abuse at them. The fact that they haven't done it is for two reasons. One reason is that there are very credible reports of deep divisions within the Pakistan army. Uh, and Imran Khan has said it, that he said that, okay, the generals might be against me, their families are with me. 
the generals might be against me but you know the the middle and the junior ranking officers are all uh, backing me so the army is afraid that if it was to take some action against him it would split right down the middle number 1 number 2 uh, i think they are very fearful that imran's following is full of zombies uh, president company accepted uh, mr samad uh, he seems to be a decent guy in the wrong company but uh, there are a bunch of zombies most of them uh, and these are guys who will again take to the streets and probably the army is afraid that the fallout on the streets uh, will resemble a pakistani version of the arab spring and i can't see any other earthly reason why the army would allow imran khan to get away with whatever he has been doing because for much 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 less people have been thrown into jail for years on end uh, there is exactly current... exactly which is the question the i asked you in terms of what's happening in pakistan politics right now this seems to be unprecedented abdul samad just the claims <laughs> i want you to come in on the claims that have been made a short while ago by your party and they have been sourced to mr imran khan in hospital as having said this is there any basis to this claim or is this just an opportunity to milk this politically you don't know who has wh what are the reasons the uh, would be assassin or the person who shot imran khan has been arrested he will be questioned how have you already jumped to this conclusion sir well first of all before i answer your question i would uh, like to appreciate i mean the sushant shreem I mean, I am a great admirer of him. Although we have a differences of multiple issues, but uh, I try to learn from him. I mean, he's he's the one who has a deep study. Uh, now, your now let me come to your question. Okay, uh, we had a credible threats. We had uh, we we were conveyed through multiple sources. Some of us, some of uh, I mean, uh, I would name the PTI former senator Faisal Borda. in his public appearance i mean his uh, press conference he had conveyed somehow that uh, the this march uh, would turn into the bloody march and there were some other uh, multiple sources which revealed that uh, the, 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 uh, the, that there could be some assassination attempt and even yesterday i was uh, talking to some uh, foreign uh, foreign uh, envoy and i have shows by reservation that there could be some Uh, sort of assassination attempt on Imran Khan, and uh, day before yesterday, our Senator Rajaz Chaudhary has also mentioned in his tweet that there most likely there could be some assassination attempt. Okay, uh, despite the fact that uh, even public was aware, because they were also conveyed through the media that there this march could be same bloody as uh, the Bey Nazir uh, was the victim. No, but then can I ask you a question, Mr. Samad? If all of these pointers were there, all of these indications were there, and you know that this could be a bloody march, then why carry on with it and put other people at risk? Okay. And put your See. followers at risk. It, you know, See, it's, something's just not adding up. If you know the, the, that there is a very clear assassination bid, then why continue with the, the march? Why, why should you risk then your leader and his followers? The, the cause is bigger than <coughs> life i mean cause okay. is the the it up okay now imran khan himself has uh, mentioned that okay if uh, i would be killed i would uh, i would uh, i would like to be killed in the same manner as where arsh shree was killed okay so now now who, who we are blaming we are blaming blaming the prime minister of pakistan we are blaming the interior minister rana sanaulla because at multiple time he has retreated and he has conveyed us uh, that uh, okay. imran khan ko chal denge imran khan ko is fitne ka sar ko chal denge so i request the pti higher ups to nominate to launch the fire against this rana sanaulla who, who, who are the higher ups one minute who are the higher ups now that these allegations have been made i'm not understanding how this will go forward in Uh, a, a legal process tarik fateh smiling tarik fateh how how do you see all of you know these developments astonishing developments in the last few hours and what it means for imran khan who perhaps in april this year was looking like he had lost it and now well, seems to have you know changed that tide of support for him i wouldn't be surprised if this is a self inflicted wound Uh, uh, I 
no for that's a fact. That's a big claim to make, that, Tariq Fateh. That's a big no, claim no, to I make. Think, there's one I thing that we are not I bad at. Fascinating people. Just a second, please. Can you make this? One minute, Mr. Samad, one by one. On this show, one by one. Yes. Yeah. Oh, please keep quiet. Yeah. Heard. The point is, there's one area in which Pakistan has expertise. Killing and getting people killed. Now you have an assassin who has the full body of a person in front of him, the head, the chest, the body, and he manages to get the bullet to take a detour and hit his, uh, hit Imran Khan on his foot. No, but Tariq, 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 there is footage, one minute, there is footage of someone tackling him and moving him at the last minute. I so, know, so, like I asked, so like I asked Mr. Samad that does he have any basis for his allegations that Shahbaz Sharif is responsible, I must ask I you in all fairness, do you have any basis for your <laughs> allegations that this was self-inflicted? Because, because this is what happens. You have to be the victim and a bruised victim for you to rise from the grave and become the Imam Hussein of Pakistan. You have to go through this. What did Imran Khan say the moment he said, Allah ne mujhe dusri zindagi de di. Do you get it that how it works in pure Pak, Pakistan, that Allah is intervening into every tiny little parliamentary move? And the guy, I mean, the bullet... It, it, okay, let me, let me, let me... No. We have assassinations by the dozens in Pakistan. It's not something new <coughs> for us. We killed our first prime minister in 1953. We've assassinated... Yes. Dozens of people from Nawab Akbar Bukti to, uh, uh, you know, uh, the Khudai Khidmatgar of uh, Frontier. We, it is our lifestyle. We, I have friends who have been assassinated in Sindh and dis bodies have disappeared. So Indians, for not knowing what makes a Pakistan click, I can excuse them. But the fact remains that this is an assassin who fires his bullet and the bullet travels but maybe person. it's a lousy assassin who failed. And there was an I, intervention I, I, at the I, last minute. I mean, I don't know. Uh, Sagar Yusuf I, I, is anyone buying I, this conspiracy I, theory? What is the conversation I, in Pakistan right now? One minute. Let me ask the, the journalists on the panel. What is the conversation in Pakistan right now? Is there a tide of support for Imran? Are people buying his is, conspiracy theory that Shabazz the Sharif tried to off him? Yes. What or or is Tariq Fateh's conspiracy theory also gaining ground? No, no, yes. you never allowed me to say anything. Okay, take care. No, no. Uh, one, one minute. Yes, Fakhar Yusuf Zai. Yes. Actually, uh, actually, the people, uh, the people of Pakistan... Ji, but let him also speak. He was really quiet. Yes, yes, Fakhar. Okay, uh, the people of Pakistan uh, supporting Imran Khan and uh, especially after the, uh, this incident, uh, actually I was uh, going to cover that march today, but unfortunately when I heard uh, about that incident, uh, I, I came back to Islamabad, uh, but uh, the people uh, around uh, the city of Islamabad in Peshawar, in Lahore, they are protesting uh, for Imran Khan, in Karachi especially. Uh, the people are in the street, and uh, I, I, I was uh, watching some uh, videos, uh, which is uh, I will say that ke, that is threatening for uh, for the establishment, for the current government, and especially for the Pakistan. Uh, you people are talking about the allegation of Imran Khan on uh, uh, PM Shahbaz, uh, Interior Minister Rana Sana, and uh, uh, the Major General uh, Faisal. Uh, actually, the thing is, uh, all the people in uh, Pakistan, they are using uh, the incident for their political gains, which is unfortunate. I condemn this attack. Nobody is allowed to attack any political leader or any uh, uh, other Pakistani or uh, to some uh, someone else. But the thing is, unfortunately, you are uh, you you are just uh, putting the allegation on the Prime Minister of Pakistan. I'm not saying that this that uh, Mr. Shehbaz Sharif or Mr. Sanaullah wo ganga na hai hai, But but the thing is, you should ask the Punjab government because they were providing uh, you. The security, the 3,000 police were deployed specially for the Imran Khan security. And if you know about, if they know about uh, the, the incident uh, before uh, okay. uh, the Faisal Wabda press conference and things like that, why they, they, they were not uh, tightening the security of Imran Khan uh, more than that which uh, were available there? I this asked is, that question. Yes, we asked that question to Abdul Samad. 
we asked that question and of course this is a conversation which is going to go on internally for the next uh, few days. Sushant, that's pretty clear within Pakistan that, you know, if they knew, they didn't know. Maybe Tariq Fateh got upset and left, but even his conspiracy theory may gain traction. What is going to be the end result? If Imran Khan is hoping for early elections, is that likely to happen? And when elections do happen, is he then a clear front runner? Sushant, Sareen, that question's to you. Well, it depends when the elections will happen. Uh, if they happen according to schedule, they will not happen before October, November next year. Uh, but if they were to happen early, then uh, perhaps in uh, March, April, then from the current records, it seems, uh, and, and the track record of Imran Khan over the last few months, it seems he's going to sweep the elections, which is why I don't think either the government or the military establishment uh, is going to be uh, open to the idea of compromising with Imran Khan on all, on, on forget all, on any of his demands. Uh, because simply it's a matter of not only political survival for them, it's probably a matter of physical survival as well. Uh, and I think going forward, uh, that is where the battle lines are likely to be drawn. Now, what remains to be seen, the manna is, uh, how does uh, Imran Khan uh, push on from here? Does his march go forward? Look, if, his, if, if he continues with his agitational politics, that politics is worth nothing to nobody unless he can have blood on the streets. Uh, his, his agitational politics will be successful only if he can get blood on the streets or he can get so many people on the streets that uh, the, both the establishment and the government will simply have to give in to his demands. If he cannot do any of those, then I think uh, the, the government will survive till the end of next year. And, you know, a, a week is a long time in politics and year is an eternity. Uh, and uh, there will be a change of military leadership. Uh, probably the military is not in a mood to count out to Imran Khan or to give in to any of his demands. And my advice to Mr. Samad would be that this is the time <laughs> to actually, uh, you know, cut his losses and probably run. Well, <laughs> I, I think this seems to be some friendly one-on-one -on -one banter between Sushant Sareen and Mr. Samad, one of the few shows when, you know, the panel is not divided into sides. Everyone's trying to figure out what's happening. Anyway, just some latest visuals coming in. Uh, and we'll try and show you those about protests in front of the core commander house in Peshawar hours after firing near the container of Imran Khan in Wazirabad. This is visuals coming out on ANI right now where I can see a lot of people. That is something which we haven't heard about before in Pakistan. So this is a story to watch very, very closely and see how this is going to be developing. Thank you so much to all of you for joining us on the show and on the chat this evening.